Hello and welcome to our final episode of the Game Plan for the Year as we review the 2021 NRL Grand Final. The Premiers, the Penrith Panthers, after so much heartache in season 2020, they got the job done. 14 points to 12 over the Rabbitohs. Thanks for joining us. I'm Zach Bailey. Joined in studio again by our expert analyst, Anthony Seabold. Seabes, welcome back. What did you make of the uh, 2021 Premiership Decider? Well, field position and possession was 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 king. So, yeah, Penrith did an outstanding job with regards to where they handed over the football to South Sydney. But I've got to give South Sydney Rabbitohs uh, plenty of praise. The, the effort and their defence, um, you know, they were very dogged. And, um, yeah, it was you know, a fantastic grand final. Tight, tense, gritty affair, as were all of Penrith's uh, finals matches in the lead up to that. Nathan Cleary, the Clive Churchill medalist, what did you make of his performance? Yeah, very much well deserved. I thought his kicking game was outstanding. It's The big thing he did was he, he suffocated uh, the South Sydney Rapidos where he handed over the football to them. Um, it went a long way to Penrith getting the result. Five force dropouts. Let's look at a couple of the examples now because, as you said, he strangled South out of the game early on. A lot of these examples came from the first half when Penrith were on top. Yeah, exactly. As I said, um, you know, he suffocated the, 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 the bunnies. And one of the things that he did, he did you know, X marked, marks the spot, so to speak. He did a fantastic job of putting the ball about two or three metres off the try line of the, uh, of the Rabbitohs. And this is one example earlier in the game. Great kick execution under pressure. There's plenty of kick pressure there. You'll see Taff... Gets the ball two metres out, Penrith Panthers do the job with regards to getting a repeat set. Now that builds fatigue and that builds pressure on the Rabbitohs. This is not long afterwards. And again, what um, Cleary's trying to do is, is put the outside backs of the Bunnies under some pressure. So again, if we look at where he wants to land the football, it's just in behind the, those uh, left edge defenders there. And you'll see here again, really good kick uh, chase there by the Panthers. They almost get a result. Uh, with regards to the contest. But again, they get a repeat set. Again, build fatigue into the uh, the Bunnies team there. And, and Penrith, they, they get an opportunity to, to continue to build that sort of momentum early in the game. And we spoke about that area. It's almost no man's land between the centre and the back rower. No one knows who to jump for it. It creates chaos, I think you said the word was. And we saw it there. Good kick placement, but also good kick pressure on all of these kicks. So that they're in the Rabbitohs' faces as soon as that ball hits them. Yeah, again, look, like I said, I, I use the word suffocate. And here they do it again. You know, you'll see the ball come down a couple of metres from the try line again. This time on the left-hand side of the Penrith Panthers um, edge. And again, they go through there. Don't quite uh, get a contest on it with Matt Burton. But again, they you know they choke the uh, the bunnies out of the uh, you know, out of field position and out of possession. Yeah, pinpoint accuracy. And again, this is in the second half. So it wasn't just in the first half, the opening stages. He kept it up all game, Nathan Cleary. Yeah, he did. And what you'll start to see is, um, you know, if we highlight, um, you know, the uh, the right winger there in, in Paulo for um, for the Bunnies, he started to become disconnected. He wasn't sure where his start position was going to be because sometimes they ran it on the last, sometimes they kicked it on the last and so on. So they did a really good job mixing it up. You'll see here again, Campbell Graham gets the ball about a metre or two outside of uh, his own try line. And, and again, you know, great. Uh, kick chase there by, by the Penrith Panthers. One person I want to highlight is this. Just have a look at, at Nathan after he kicks the ball. He goes through, chases his own kick. Now, he does a great job to steady. Doesn't tackle Campbell Graham in the air. Steadies, then jumps into the tackle. And that says a lot about his game. Not only was his skill execution top notch, but the effort areas um, that don't take talent or don't take skill, he's very good at as well. You, you spoke there about Jackson Paulo being disconnected on the edge. And, and Penrith, when they were trying to get the tries on their left edge, their strike side, they saw that, didn't they? And they, they attacked down that edge. Yeah, definitely a game plan, particularly in the first half. What we saw was this. This is um, a tackle five, um, you know, last play running shape from the Penrith Panthers. And early in the year, we identified what are going to be the trends from attacking perspective. In, in 2021, one of the things we identified was lead runners inside the two in defenders. Now, two in defenders are centres, and we spoke about it early in the year. Now, this is the biggest um, big, biggest match of the season. So, last play, this is a strategy. There we go from um, you know half back to half back, and what they're trying to do is put some pressure on the right edge defence of the of the bunnies. Now, this is the thing I want you to have a look at. What they're trying to do is this: they're trying to get. Liam Martin to lead inside Campbell Graham and Matt Burton to be that out-the-back runner. They're trying to create a 2v1. Now, this situation here, I think, was in the 13th minute. They don't quite get it right. Uh, Luai doesn't get to the uh, the defender he wants to get to. Ideally, he wants to get to this player here in, in Adam Reynolds. Um, so South Sydney actually do a good job with, with Cameron Murray and uh, some inside pressure. Have a look at this. 
they try and create a 2v1. If I back it up a little bit, I just want to point out the positioning of of Paulo. He's disconnected from the line. Mm. So he's about three or four or five metres uh, behind Campbell Graham. And that's something they would have seen in their game preview. So it was definitely a tactic. They don't quite get it done this time, but it was a tactic. So not quite the perfect execution from Penrith. So well read in the end by South. So tackle Brian To'o a metre out. But three or four minutes later, the Burton try, a key moment, and they've executed it perfectly. Yeah, they certainly did. This again is last play. They're still trying to run a lead inside Campbell Graham. So... Uh, you know, fantastic game strategy by the Panthers. There's Luai. Now, we spoke about who he wanted to get to. He wants to get to Adam Reynolds and get Adam Reynolds engaged. And what they're trying to do is run a lead on the inside shoulder of Campbell Graham. He's the two-in defender. He's the centre. As I said, that's the trend that we've seen this year in 2021. Liam Martin does a really good job because what happens is he takes care of Campbell Graham. Campbell Graham has got to come in on his inside shoulder to, to protect it. Now, what they do is this. They create a one, two versus one opportunity on the end of shape. And you only need one or two opportunities in a game. Like I said, it's a game strategy because they did it three or four minutes earlier and this time they nail it. So Matt Burton goes through there and then we've got an aerial shot of that. And this shows it even better in terms of Campbell Graham coming in. A little bit of a disconnect with Jackson Paulo, but perfect execution from Liam Martin. Yeah, perfect execution. Um, you, you can see here, Liam Martin takes the inside shoulder of Campbell Graham. So, like I said before, you know, think of Campbell as the uh, as the two-in defender there and Paulo's the winger. What they're trying to do out the back of shape, if I clear that, what they're trying to do is is create a 2v1 opportunity uh, for, for Matt Burton and Brian Toho. So, really well executed play. The other big thing, like I said before, is uh, Luai getting to the three and defender there in, uh, in Adam Reynolds as well, as well. So what they do is they capture these two guys here. Really, really good play. Um, again, um, you know, Andrew Webster, Ivan Cleary, the coaching staff for the, uh, the Penrith Panthers have done a great job because they've looked at this and that's twice they've gone and ran on the last to their left-hand side early in the game. So great work from the inside from Cleary and Luai to get to their men. Great execution from Lee Martin to get inside Campbell Graham and the rest is all Matt Burton. It is. And as you can see here, you know, look, if I'm coaching Paulo, what he needs to do, he needs to protect his inside shoulder and go in on Burton and then potentially leave Brian Tohu, um, you know, last there and, and Taft comes across and makes the tackle on him. But really good execution, like you said. They set it up earlier. Uh, they went back to the well and they get a result. But, uh, you know, fantastic, um, you know, fantastic game strategy by the, the Panthers. And Matt Burton's been one of the strike weapons for the Panthers all year. Cody Walker, he's been the strike weapon for the Rabbitohs all year. Pulled off that great individual uh, try in the first half, but that intercept pass, that was the moment that defined this grand final. Can you, can you break down and talk us through why it was the wrong option? at that time. Yeah, I really fell for Cody Walker. I think he's been probably South Sydney's most consistent player over the last two or three seasons, certainly. Um, you know, the amount of try assists and, and I suppose, um, you know, everything good uh, for the South Sydney Rabbitohs seems to come in and around Cody. So I really fell for him here. Look, I like the idea of, of what they're trying to do. They're, they're going down that middle third of the field. They're creating momentum. And you can see they've created momentum because there's a Panthers player left on the floor. So they've done their job through that middle third of the field. As it comes out to, to Cody Walker, he's actually in a really good position um, insofar as creating a 3v2. So we, we talk about on the edge of um, attacking shape, you're trying to create a mathematical advantage. You're trying to get a 3v2 or a 2v1 or a 3v1. And if you have a look at the bunnies here, this is the last two defenders for uh, the Panthers. So that's Crichton and Momorowski. So there's only two defenders there. If we have a look at the, uh, the South Sydney players, there's one, two, and there's a third one out here in, in Alex Johnson. So Cody actually does create a 3v2 on the end of that show. And we even spoke about the play before getting into the two-end defender. They got into the three-end defender here, and Nathan Cleary, he's tied up. Yeah. So the lead work is perfect from South. If, if you're Wayne Bennett, if you're the South coaching staff, you're loving this to this point. You are, because as I said before, you're trying to create a mathematical advantage. You can see really clearly here, there's three attacking players and there's only two defenders on the end of the line there for the Panthers. So the lead up work, very well done by the, uh, the, the Bunnies. They created momentum through that middle third of the field. And this is a really good place to attack from because there's no fullback plugging in the line. Um, you often can leave a, a defender on the floor and you can create some momentum to then shift the footy and, and make some metres on the edge. It's not always about scoring tries or making line breaks on the edges, but it's a really good position to attack from to create momentum and create metres. Okay, so they've created the overlap. Unfortunately, Cody Walker throws it 
goes for the big cutout pass to his winger rather than hitting Dane Gagai. Again, we've got an aerial shot here. The one question a lot of fans or rugby league uh, viewers have been asking is, does this play change if Latrell Mitchell's playing? Because he's an intimidating, dominant ball runner. Is he at the back of this shape? Is he in the middle? Or is it just the fact that he's taken the wrong option with the pass? Well, you'll see here where, where the attacking play sort of come from. It come from inside the, the 40 metre zone of the uh, the Rabbitohs. Now, what a lot of fullbacks will do. To think about Tedesco. Think about Trebojevic, who we saw at the back end of the year and also um, in the finals. They're often through that middle third of the field when team when their teams are coming out of yardage. And why they're in the middle third of the field is because they're that inside ball option. So think of um, you know uh, you know Victor Radley passing an inside pass to Tedesco or Jake and Tom Trebojevic can combining with an inside pass as they come up the field. So you'll often see fullbacks in there. Now, it's only sort of, you know, we, we can't say it's very, um, I suppose, um, you know, grey with regards to what a literal Mitchell been on that left edge. Look, who knows? One thing I do know is they've done their jobs with regards to capturing defenders because you can see here, look at those Penrith, uh, Panthers defenders here. Um, you can see again that there's one, two, three bunnies attacking players versus... Only one, two Penrith Panthers defensive players. So they've done their job, you know, in the lead-up. So, look, would Latrell Mitchell be in there? I'm not sure. Tav's through that middle third of the field. Um, you can't quite see him in the picture. But, again, I felt for, for Cody Walker because if anyone deserved to, uh, I suppose, um, you know, have the spotlight on them for the right reasons, it's Cody with what he's done over the last couple of seasons. So really felt for him. Um, but they did all the lead-up work really well. Look, Crichton did a good job reading that play as well. A, a huge play for Penrith, but it could have been a huge play for South if he hits Dane Gagai. They've got an overlap. There's support play. It's a two-on-one battle potentially with Dylan Edwards, who is also enormous for the Panthers. Uh, another chance for South Sydney. It was 14-12, a couple of minutes to go, and they had one more chance to yeah. to, to win it. Uh, Cam Murray, a break through the middle. Again, great play, but they just didn't ex execute the big moment at the right time. Exactly. This is a big play. And, and you know, watching the game um, on TV, I thought, is South Sydney going to win this because of, of, of the back of this little line break? And you'll see what happens is that they obviously felt as though um, there were some tired defenders for the Panthers. And you'll just see at the top of your screen, you'll see that there's a lot of space there where Penrith Panthers aren't filling the space back on the inside. You'll see there's a big chunk of defenders here which uh, South Sydney Rabbitohs capture, but then there's a lot of space. So they've, they've put Cam Murray back underneath, OK? There's um, Abby Coruscant not quite filling the space. There's a whole heap of space, as I said, through that middle third of the field. Now, I'd love to see one of the Bunnies players push, you know, push through that middle third of the a field. A Blake Taffer or Damien Cook. We spoke about the importance uh, of support play. 100%, because if they do come through that middle third, there's a real opportunity to mm. twice the game. Look at all that space through here. Now, they don't quite get it, but just have a look at this picture here. Now, this will probably frustrate the Bunny supporters in, in some way, shape or form. Have a look at this. So, a couple of minutes to go in the game. Now, I want to point out a couple of people. First people I want to point out is, there's Benji Marshall, fantastic ball playing ability, and there's Blake Taff at the back of the shape there. And if I clear the screen and just let it play a little bit, you'll see that there's only one, two, three, four defenders set there for the other uh, Panthers, and then there's a fifth one coming back late in Fisher-Harris. And you'll see that, if I back it up a little bit, you'll, you'll be able to see that there's actually six attacking players on that right edge for the Bunnies. So they've got a ma mathematical advantage on that side. So that's one option. I think the thing that Damien Cook can see is this space through here. You'll see there there's some late reloading players of the Panthers and the strongest edge for the Bunnies over the last couple of years, it's been the left edge. So, so their safety net has been left. So Damien Cook, he's the hooker, his eyes up, he sees Panther with his back turn, a Panther with his back turn, plenty of space here. Three Panthers in the space of two metres of each other, but not side by side, but they're in front of each other. So again here, Damien Cook, great eyes up footy. We spoke about it earlier this year on the game plan. So he's gone, right boys, we're on here on the it's left. It's game on. Like, yeah. this, this is a defining moment in the game. Like, they always see us, they win the grand final. As, as I said, you know, there's opportunities on Benji Marshall's side on the right. But have a look at Reynolds. He gets across to the left. Now, this is the thing for people watching at home. What can Adam Reynolds do better? He's a, an elite halfback. And what we talk about to our elite ball players is you want to preserve the space. Well, what that means is you want to play square down the field, OK? You want to play there, in that direction there. Because what that does, it, that captures these defenders here. Just have a look at Adam Reynolds' start position to where he finishes up passing the ball to Cody Walker. Starts inside the 20 metre line, there. He passes the ball the other side of, the, of that 20 metre line. So what he's actually done is he's taking 
all these defenders, those four edge defenders for the for the Panthers, he's taken them to to um, to Cody Walker, and Cody's got one, two, three, okay, with him. Um, but look at the Penrith Panthers defence. There's four defenders there. So from a situation where um, you know the Bunnies created a great opportunity with Cam Murray coming back underneath, they didn't quite get their push support right. But there's a lot of open territory there on both sides of the football, um, where yeah, sorry, both sides of the play the ball where they could take advantage of. So if if Adam Reynolds does what you want him to do as coach, and he runs straight in, he sucks Nathan Cleary in. Yeah. Which means that Nathan Cleary can't make that incredible play to get out wide and get to Cody Walker. Yeah, so by, by Adam Reynolds sort of going to that side of the 20-metre uh, line, have a look what it does here. It takes Kate Well and it takes Cleary into that space. But if I clear the screen again and just talk about, okay, imagine him playing square there. They're going in. They're they? going in. They're, they're going in. Kate Well's going in. Cleary's going in. Then what that creates would be a 3v2. You'd only have Crichton and Momorowski there versus these three attacking players for, for the Bunnies. And mm. C- uh, Cody Walker, again, nine times out of ten, he ices those plays. So it was an opportunity missed with only about three and a half minutes to go in the game. And even last week you spoke about like teams using the sideline as an extra defender. So if they're all sliding out, they know, Crichton knows, well, Polo's not going to get around me here. That's so right. That, that's another man. That you you use the sideline as, as the extra defender. And what you can see here from the, the Panthers is there's one, two, three... Uh, defending players versus uh, three South players. And if you went back to the start of the clip, you would think there's no way in the world that they could match up man on man, which mm. they end up doing. So you want to try and capture these guys here, like I said. Um, that's one play that Renault missed uh, because he's very good at playing nice and direct. That's, that's one of his weapons in his game. So, yeah, just a little opportunity missed. But, um, yeah, as I said, Bunny supporters probably disappointed looking at that particular picture. But what a grand final and comes down the last couple of minutes in the game. If, if you're the coach in that point, you're coaching the Rabbitohs still, how, like, how many times would you watch this clip back going, we had it, we had it? Yeah, it'd be quite frustrating because, uh, as I said, there's nine times out of ten that Adam Reynolds, um, you know, he does preserve the space he plays, nice and direct. That's what I love about him as a halfback. So it's a disappointing one. You know what, there's plenty of little moments um, that happens in games. That was one little moment that potentially if they had their opportunity to do it again, they would execute um, and, and, and nail the play and and, uh, and get the result that they wanted. But um Really good, uh, I suppose, desperate scramble defence there from the Panthers as well. But I think uh, there was an opportunity missed there with only about three and a half minutes to go. So we started the game plan here today talking about Nathan Cleary and his kicking game. We finish it with that great scramble effort. One busted shoulder, heroic in the grand final. Heroic, well-deserved Clive Churchill medalist. I think his kicking game, but also the, the few effort areas that we've highlighted off the football. You know, there was kick kick chase that he uh, went down there on Campbell Graham and, and got a repeat set and just even that scramble defence there. Yeah, he did come up with a, a missed tackle on Cody Walker's try, but I thought it was a fantastic game by, uh, by by Nathan Cleary. So I'm sure Panthers fans would have loved every second of that, but South fans, they're still hurting. Siebes, this year it's been great working alongside you, uh, you here on the game plan. Thank you for your expert analysis. Thank you, mate. It's been great. It's been great. Uh, Thank you for tuning in each and every week. We hope you got plenty out of that, especially the grand final edition, the Penrith Panthers. Too good for the South Sydney Rabbitohs.